Alright, so what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary E and we are back here for the start of season number three of the Dallas Mavericks My GM series. If you guys missed the last one, we went through the entire offseason. Check it out. A link to it will be in the top right hand corner as well as in the description below. But anyways, guys, uh, today we are here for the season opener. And if you guys enjoy it and want to see more, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button. Let's get 150 likes for another episode and it might even be a trade. Like I've been saying, man, DSJ might be gone. We don't know what we want to do, but regardless, we got a disgusting little lineup right here. So let me know what you guys want to see out of this lineup and which episodes we should make. We haven't really made a trade episode in this series. We made like two. One of them was Harrison Barnes. One of them was like somebody else. I don't even remember. But anyways, guys, I really want to hear what you guys have to say because I don't just want to go through the season playing games and simming and doing all, doing all of that. I want to go through practices and stuff, so... If you guys want to see me train the players or run plays with the players, let me know in the comment section below. But today we got the season opener. You guys already know, this team is fire, man. Zion's at an 89 in his second season. He's a beast. Like, this lineup is ridiculous. Quentin Grimes, Luka, Zion, Blake, Boogie. We are the number one team. And we are taking on the Memphis Grizzlies now. In the power rankings, where do they have them? They're not that high. They're at 19. But I saw this team. They're not that bad, man. They got Ever Payton. The Celtics did not match Jalen Brown. Uh, so they have him. They got Nas Little. These three guys right here, Brown, Little, and Jackson, that's this team's future big three. Team is nasty. Then they got Marcus Soft. Then they got Thad Young, Kyle Anderson, KCP, Jaleel, Moutier, Booker. This team is it's bad, but it's like respectable to like they might actually mess around and beat you. Like, you can see that happening. As far as the weaknesses is playmaking and creating their own shot. Look, we should beat them. All right, that's what I have to say. We should beat them overwhelmingly. Let's just get into this matchup. People hate it whenever I rock the throwback jerseys. We're rocking them, man. I'm sorry. We're going to rock them. Uh, is there is there any like good throwbacks to even rock? You know what? It's really whatever. Let's just rock with the statements. We got a statement to actually make. Okay, never mind. They gotta they gotta wear something else. Actually, we can go throwbacks both way. Cause I like the those Grizzlies uniforms. I'm sorry if you guys hate the throwbacks. Let's rock them one more time this season. All right, right now. But other than that, let's get into this match because we got them beat at every single position except overall why shooting guard but is still better let's get straight into this It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks, everyone, for joining us here in the start of a new season. With David Aldridge on our sideline, and here with me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, this is Kevin Harlan. It's Western Conference NBA action, the Memphis Grizzlies here at home. And on opening night, every team starting from scratch, yeah, Steve, that huh? has... Uh, a lot of people. All right, guys, so getting straight into the gameplay part of this video. Yo, man, uh, as I pretty much said uh, in my last couple of videos, obviously, I have this this coming week off. And I do want to use it to actually make a lot of NBA content. Of course, keep on with this Maverick series. I really want to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, a lot of people checked out my LaMelo video. And they want me to compare him to Cole Anthony. If you guys want me to make that video, I'll go ahead and I'll do it. Now, starting this game off, they do have a little lead on us. Look at them throwing up that lob out. Nah, you're not, you're not doing that to us. We're going to go ahead and find Zion. He's going to go ahead and find Blake. It gets missed. We're going to go ahead and pass out to Quentin Grimes. Grimes is going to drive it. We're going to see Zion on the corner. We're going to pull it. I already know it's money, man. You guys already know it's money. There is so much ball movement on this team, which is why I like it. Now, I've been reading the comments. You guys are all saying trade Blake, start DSJ. Look, man, I'm going to keep this thing whole band with you. We are currently better with Blake Griffin on the court than DSJ. 
even if Blake Griffin averages less points this season, having him on the court beats out having DSJ. Like, we are not a rebuilding team anymore. And you guys have to remember that this is a realistic series. Yes, Blake is on a terrible contract. First of all, who's trading for his contract? And secondly, we're not in the brand of rebuilding or starting players because the fans like them anymore. We're trying to win. That's what we're trying to do now. We are up here playing some really, really good defense. Let's just push it. Let's push it with Luka. We're going to go ahead and pass this thing off to... Oh, my goodness. Yo. Blake really be getting some nasty dunks right. He drops Jaron Jackson Jr. Like, he literally dropped him. Bro, look at Jaron Jackson Jr., man. This man went down to the floor. Boy, <laughs> get up, man. I, but, yeah, as far as the Blake Griffin thing goes, last year we were the number one seed. We made it to the conference finals. We're not in the whole let's rebuild and develop. Like, we are, we are the Los Angeles Lakers. And Dennis Smith is our, is our Lonzo Ball. We ain't waiting, Chief. Whoever can play, that's who we're putting out there. And for right now, we're going to be rocking with Quentin Grimes in the lineup. Yeah, sometimes it's going to be switching. We need to find that point guard. It's between him and Quentin Grimes. But at the beginning of last season, I was saying let's start both of them in the future. But, hey, man, with Zion at an 89 at small forward compared to an 84 at power forward, yeah, we're putting our best lineup out there. And the best lineup is having Blake Griffin because, like I said, last year he was he would have been an all-star in the East. But when he got traded to West, obviously he wasn't going to be one here. But that just provides our best lineup. Our best lineup is either having DSJ slash Grimes at point guard, having Luka at shooting guard, having Zion at small forward, having Blake Griffin, and having Boogie. That's definitely the best lineup for us. And it's not even really close, just to be honest. Now, heading into halftime, the team is playing really, really well. Uh, we're up 74 to 59. Boogie, I don't know why they had Boogie. Zion has like 15 points at this point, and they're not even talking about him, just to be honest. But I really want to hear you guys' thoughts on this series. I'm trying to win a chip this season. Now, the goal is for this series to go on for a few more seasons. Obviously, we're not going to be going into like the 2030s. We're not going to be simming their, their entire careers. But... I don't want to end it after like three seasons like I normally do. I, I want to go the mile because this team is so young and so good. Blake is the only washed player. And you guys want me to trade him right now. We can use him to like win a chip or two and, and move on. Like and find somebody else at the position, especially in the NBA draft. We might be making a huge trade for one of those Celtics players. We got some options of what we want to do with this team because the Celtics are not playing their young guys. They got Kevin Porter, Bull Bull. Sekou, Demboya, whatever. They got all them boys on the bench. And we're going to go after one of them. So heading back into the gameplay right here's Luka Doncic on the drive. We're going to go ahead. Come on. You know what? Let's, let's give it a Blake. Let, let's give it a Blake. You know what? Look, Blake, back this man Jaren down. Oh, my goodness, bro. What is that? Blake is, like, just bodying the mess out of this man. Like, bro, he just threw him out the way and dunked. Yo, Jaron Jackson, you are a walking L at, at this moment, man. 2K is not doing you right. I'm telling you, they're just not doing you right. But yeah, man, obviously we're going to be walking away with the easy W right here. I like this team now. I do got to say, Luka Doncic, I really, like, he has to be, he has to be better for us because you guys are going to see that, I mean, he's great, but whenever I'm simming, it's like he's not really aggressive. And... I don't know what it is, but, like, Zion is going to definitely be the face of this team. I'm trying to make it to where we have, like, a two-headed snake with him and Zion for the, for the near future. And then, of course, the Marcus Cousins is great for right now. We just need those guys to, de to develop their games. Like, Zion's already very, very polished. Now, at this moment right here, Quentin Grimes does get hurt. But at least he's not out. I think he had to go out with a messed up finger or something. But whenever I saw this, I was low-key freaking out. Like, bro... Did he, did he like break his hand or like break something or tear something? So I'm heading over to player health. Let's see what we can find. They say unknown right finger injury to, to be discussed, to be announced, whatever. Come on. <clears throat> at least he's still playing. So at least it's not like a knee injury or anything crazy. It's just his finger in. If, and if it ain't broken, he playing. We're, we're not resting him, bro. We're, we're trying to get on, on an early run. 
the stake playing, and Zion is a freaking monster, a posterizer. You guys, you guys already know what, what it is. We got a super team for the future, man. No one can beat this team with him leading the hell, man. Now, at the end of this, man, we obviously walked away with the victory. We walk away winning 147 to 101. Those are the kind of victories that I, I actually enjoy. But anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to go ahead and uh, like it up and, of course, subscribe. As far as the stats go, Nas Little, he had 23 points, 4 and 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, 7 of 17 shooting, and 40% from the 3. Marcus Saul, 15 points. Jaleel, 15 points. Jalen Brown was trash, 12 points on 13 shots. He was not it. KCP, eh. Jaron Jackson, eh. <laughs> I, just, I don't know what to say, like. 2K is kind of weird with all of these animations. Like, I could push somebody down, but I can't cross them. It's weird. Zion finished out with a triple-double. And, yes, at the end, we, we were stat padding. 35 points, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists. 13 of 20 shooting. It's really 13 of 18 because, at the end, I was kind of tripping. And he was 100% from the three. Luka Doncic with 25, 7, and 6 assists. Blake Griffin with 21 and 8. That man was a – he only missed three shots. He was overpowered against that match. He destroyed that match. Bro, he was killing it. DHJ off the bench for 20 points. He's getting his money off the bench. He, he's trying to earn his way back into that starting lineup. Maybe he does for next video. Quentin Grimes with 18, 4, and 5. He was also good. I, I, I still like DSJ's performance a little bit better. But he was still really, really, really good as well. Boogie, look. Tonight, Boogie just was not it. It's, it's really that simple. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you go in and smash that like button. Let's get 130 likes for the next one, man. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, tomorrow I can post an NBA discussion video. Let me know what you guys want to hear about. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all.